Alright people, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, and yeah, let's save that game up, and let's head back to Wigglytuff's guild. Ayo, hey, the guild's crew boy, you gotta hook up with our squad again. Here we are, Jay, Wigglytuff's guild. It feels as if we were gone for a long time, but now that we're here, it's kind of awkward to go in. After all, we were suddenly taken away in front of everyone. It would be sort of strange to suddenly show up. No, we can't be acting all bashful now. We have to see everyone and tell them the truth. Okay, I'll stand above the sentry post. Pokemon detected, Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint belongs to... The f f footprint belongs to... What's wrong, Diglett? Respond, respond! What? Hey, Diglett! Where do you think you're burrowing off to? That... That footprint! It's Wolf! What? How... How does the entire guild hear this? Like... How does... Is he just like screaming down the sentry post? He's like, Ah! It's wolf, everyone! And yeah, and it's like, that's not possible. It's wolf! NJ2! Diglett! Long time no see! What, what is that? The Gates family. What else would they be? Hey, hey, it is true! Oh my gosh, it really is Jay and Wolf! You're both alive! We worried so much about you. I... I... I was... By golly! <laughs> I love Vidu. <laughs> Everyone, we're home. Welcome home! Wolf! The J. What? What was that again? Just, just hold on for a moment. Let me get the story straight. Okay. Ahem. Let me summarize your story so far. First, Grovile is actually a good guy. He was collecting the time gears to save the world. Yes. And the great dust noir only pretended to be kind and helpful, but he was actually a heinous and wicked villain. Yes, though I didn't really phrase it as heinous and wicked. Also, Jay was really Grovile's partner. Yes. So dust noir just wanted to get rid of both Jay and Grovile, so he took them to the future. Yes, and me too. And then you managed to escape from Dust Noia by the skin of your teeth? And you barely made it back home from the future! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, this planet will soon become paralyzed. And to prevent that, Grow Wireless started gathering time gears again. Meanwhile, you two are looking for a place called the Hidden Land. <laughs> Is that your story in its full entirety? Yes, that's all of it. Oh, I I hate this part so much. Like, why is Chatot really playing with our emotions like that? Like, I I don't appreciate when when like we say something so seriously and then no then they start taking it for granted, man. It's like. Chatot starts laughing at us like, I don't believe you guys for a second. I think you were delirious from the future. You're all ingrates. And you must have had a bad dream or something. I mean, we totally went to the future, dog. So, I don't even know what you're talking about. What? Why don't you two just go to our room and get some rest? Wait, wait a second. You think we're lying? What we just told you is all true. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure you two are suffering from exhaustion. A good nap will fix that. That's not it, Chatot. Seriously, we're telling you the truth. That's quite enough. 
So tell me, is there any part of your story that is even remotely plausible? We went to the future. You saw us get dragged. Fam. A place called the Hidden Land? I'm the head of intelligence here and I've never heard of such place. Besides, the Great Dust Noir is far too kind to do anything you've alleged. You saw him drag us to the future. We've been gone for ages. I hate this. Are you an idiot? I, I hate when you hate when you play with my emotions. Of course he believes us, but he's playing with my emotions. He's making me look like a freaking jerk off because <laughs> I hate that so much. Like, don't play me like that. It came as a huge shock, and it was really hard to accept, but... I'll hear no more of this! I don't care what you say! The Great Dust Noia, the villain... That's simply unbelievable. Seriously, don't you two feel the same way? How can anyone seriously think of the Great Dust Noia as a villain? We hold the Dust Noia in high esteem. We cannot believe it. See? 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 Everyone shares the same opinion. But... Hmm? What is it, Sunflower? There's something I don't understand. That time when the Great Dust Noir was about to return to the future... I mean, look, they saw us get dragged. What more proof than do you need? Like, all you're doing is being a freaking ugh. At that point, like, what Dust Noir did then? It was strange, any way you look at it. Really? Do you think so? Don't you think that Wolf and Jay fell into the dimensional hole by accident? How? How, Sway? No way! Dust Noir grabbed Jane Wolf and yanked them in. Hey, hey, that's right! It looked that way to me too! Hey, hey, what happened was really weird. Gosh, I really had to wonder why Dust Noir did something like that. If, if what Wolf said is true, then what Dust Noir did suddenly makes perfect sense. What? Wait a minute! So is this what you think now? You actually, you're, well, are you actually saying that you now believe what Jay and Wolf are claiming? Well, what's your answer? Uh, I, I believe them. What? What did you just say? So Bidoof, you're now claiming that the Great Dust Noir is a villain. Oof, golly, I sure did think highly of Great Dust Noir. The whole idea sounds troubling when you put it that way, but there's something more important here. Yup, yup, Jay and Wolf are more important. That's why I believe what Jay and Wolf have to say. What? Bidoof. Hey, hey, I believe too. Me too, oh my gosh. They are guild colleagues after all. Oh, Corfish and Sunflora. I believe them. Me too. So do I. Casting doubt on our colleagues is wrong. Trust is a must. Squawk! No, oh, thank you everyone. Thank you for believing us. Well, hiya! Sounds like we all agree. Huh? We all believe our friends. That's great. Then let's start searching for the hidden land. Whoa, just hold on there, Guildmaster. Hmm, what's wrong? We're not all in agreement yet, are we? Huh? Oh, look, look, expose him! Expose him! We're all good with the story, but I suspect Chatot is convinced. Oh, is that all? You don't need to worry about Chatot. Huh? Chatot is convinced, right? Huh? Because Jatai believed Wolf's story all along. 
Right, Chatot? Laugh, 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 laughter, laughter. <laughs> what? How peculiar. Well, Guildmaster, there's no fooling you. I admit it. Yes, I believe Jay and Wolf right from the start. Huh, really? But if I would have said that, I believe them right away. Everyone would have just gone along with what I said. What's all this? That's why I was so contrary. I wanted to put your friendship to the test. Gosh, likely story. But without a doubt, I was convinced from the get-go. I knew everyone would surely believe their colleagues. Says you. Hehehe. <laughs> I'm smart. Jay. Wolf. I believe you. You're my good friends in guild membership. Now listen everyone. Time is stopping in more and more places. From Wolf's story, we know our world is in danger. That means we have to do something. This is our time. In the name of Wiggly Tuff's guild, we'll combine all our efforts. We'll discover the hidden land. Let's do this, everyone. Hooray! Chat time. Ah, yes, sir. Okay, everyone. From, from now on, we're shifting all our efforts on locating the hidden land. We also have to let everyone else know what's happening in our world. It's going to get busy. We're all going to work hard. I sure will. I'll put it down the treasure town. I'll get the word out, by golly. I'll go, too. We have to let Azelf and his friends know, too. If they're if they're back at their lakes, they may try to stop Grovi. Oh my gosh! Hey, hey, then I'll go tell them. Okay, everyone. I'll search for the hidden land, please. Yeah. Beedoof Sunflower. Uh, and others. Once your errands are done, gather information on the hidden land. Yes, sir. Will Harry! We'll find the hidden land together. Yumta! Hooray! Alright, let's show some guts. Hey, hey, hey! I'm sorry I don't have any information on the hidden land. But maybe the wise Torkoal, the town elder, may know something. Torkoal, the town elder? That would be the uh, shoot. That would be the that. Uh, uh, Chatot's voice is screwing me up now. That would be the wisest and oldest Pokemon in uh of Treasure Town. He lives. He loves the hot springs, so he's always there. In fact, I'm positive that you'll find him at the hot spring. Oh, I remember. We haven't been to the hot spring for, like, the entire game. It's him! That nice old Pokémon we met. You should put his years of wisdom to use! Go ask Toy Cole for advice! The first time we went to the hot spring, we had to get there through Waterfall Cave. Let's go onward to the hot spring. It, uh, but first, it's getting, like... And besides, you must be hungry. Yeah, man, about to get ready to smack it up. My stomach growled. <laughs> and yours did too. You should have dinner, then get a good night's sleep. We can all work tomorrow. Hey, hungry. Ho ho, did everyone hear that? What a laugh. Bling your belly bark back at Chimeco, eh? Ha 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 ha, you're making fun of me. It's been so long since we've been in this room. If 
feels as though I'm finally home. You know, I'm glad everyone came to believe our story. It made me a little choked up. Let's go meet Torkoal tomorrow and talk with him. Let's get back at it tomorrow. Oh, he didn't say... He didn't say it's been a long while since we've woken up like that. Oh, How boring. Ahem! So wrapping up! Everyone's aware of their duties today! By golly, yes! I'm all ready to go! Good! Those of you investigating the hidden land, and those of you spreading the word about the true state of affairs. I expect you to organize your teams accordingly and get going. Let's get to it, everyone! Okay, so let's head off to the waterfall cave. I don't care about what anyone else has to say. Yeah. It's about time. It's been a hot minute. been a long while since we've been been back in here it's not like it re anything really matters no one got stronger so it's literally like we're gonna run through everyone and everything you know, it's hard to believe something stupid looking like that Grimer eventually evolves into the creepy muck in this game Cause yo, Muck is super duper creepy and here, yo, with his one hand. He just has one arm and it's one hand and it's creepy. It's extremely creepy. But yeah, it should be no problem running through this dungeon and just like literally getting to Torkoal. Ugh. So yeah, we're. We're on our way to end game. On our way to end game. After this, I don't remember what comes next. I'm doing that. Just throw that. Get that. Get this. But yeah, we used a drought orb, which makes the map look super duper creepy. And we're gonna find the stairs this way. Hey, non sleeper. I ain't tired, boy. I don't know what you thought she was doing. Yeah, let's just go find those stairs. Nothing here will even threaten us for a second. I can just do that, bam, get out of my face. A 
a hot spring. Did we like take take the way we came here the first time? In that case, that's like really stupid. Mm, ah, my young friend, come to wash away your exhaustion. Oh, not so. I see, you seek my wisdom. There's no better place than this to share your story. Ah, oh, I see. The hidden land, you say. I have heard of it. Oh, really? Oh, really? Uh, I don't know what voice to give Torkoal. The hidden land is truly a place of legend. It, it is tattered lore at best handed down by oral tradition. No matter, please tell us. Of course, I can only tell you what I've heard. The hidden land lies beyond the sea. In a place hidden, in a hidden place, so the story goes. A hidden place? Yes, the hidden land allows only the chosen to find it. To go there, one must possess certain qualities. Oh, a place that only someone with proper qualifications can go to. Okay, Torkoal, what are those qualifications? They are... Er... Er... Now what were they? I'm sorry, it slipped my mind. Oh no, you've forgotten? Please, Torkoal, please remember. This is really important. That's easy for you to say, but... Er, um... Oh, that's it! You need proof! You needed proof, some sort of... Yes, that, that was it. Proof. Proof? What kind of proof? That would be... There are... Um... Forgive me, I have forgotten again. You what? You can't remember? I'm sorry to disappoint you. Uh, alright. Um, can you call anything else at all? No, that's all. Forgive me, youngsters. If I could recall what proof you need, I'll be sure to let you know. Yes, please. Thank you, Torkoal. We should head back to the guild, Jay. Hmm, so Torko couldn't provide us with many answers. That's too bad. Oh, that's not entirely true. We now know that we need proof, and knowing that is a step forward. Right? No, oh, oh my god, I screwed up Wigglytuff's voice. Never again. Hey, hey, we're searching too! Yeah, but we didn't find anything. But? There's no giving up. We gotta keep trying, by golly. I'll keep trying too. We should have dinner and rest for tonight. Oh my gosh, we'll resume our efforts tomorrow. Oh, well, thanks everyone. Stop crying. By golly, by golly, by golly, by golly, by golly. Golly, 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 golly. Golly, and by golly, by golly, by golly. Hmm. Time for something different. <sighs> We're not making as much progress as we hoped. When we talked with Torkoal, I started thinking we had hope. I wonder how Grovile is doing. Has he gathered the time gears? We need to hurry too, but there's no point in getting all flustered, especially since everyone is helping out. We should get some sleep too. Then start with fresh resolve tomorrow. Okay, Jay, good night. So this is not not the scene I was looking for. Cause I know we got a whole bunch of conjecture to do before we finally get the um Knowledge to go to Brian Cave. I am so in short. The hidden land remains shrouded in mystery, but we're not giving up. Hooray! Let's get out there and investigate again. Where should we go investigate today? We've already talked to Torkoal. We're out of leads. Oh snap, who could it be? 
Oh, hey! The footprint belongs to Torkoal, the town elder. Town elder Torkoal. What? Torkoal is here? <sighs> Finally, I caught up with you. Climbing to this guild is hard on these old bones. On me old bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm crazy enough to do math equations with me own bones, and I'm like, bruh, Crash Box was so good. <laughs> what? I'm gonna give him that voice now, yo. What brings you here, Torkoal? Do you maybe remember something? Indeed, I did, but I've recalled only one. No, that's not even the voice. Only one, and never mind. I'm just gonna keep him as I did. I only one more thing. One more thing, Jackie. <laughs> one more thing. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just all types of screwy today. Sorry to say, yesterday I contemplated the waters of the hot spring for a long time. Finally, one recollection surfaced. But. It re it's really something small. I wouldn't worry if it were. I worry if it would be even worthwhile sharing with you. Not a worry. Every little bit of information helps, however small. Please say it. Say it. When we spoke to of travel to the inland yesterday, I said that you need proof of your qualification to go there. I remembered a bit more about that proof. That proof bears an inscription of a certain pattern. A certain pattern? Hey, hey, so what kind of pattern would that be? Er, uh, how can I describe it? It's difficult to describe. But I can tell you that the pattern is quite intricate and odd. It's a peculiar pattern, the kind of pattern you rarely see. A pattern you really see? Golly. You think I could... Count you think I could think of something. But trying to think of some, uh, such a thing, it's not easy when one tries. Hmm, what could it be? The kind of pattern you rarely see. Yeah. Yeah, a uh, pattern. I mean, it's the only one we've encountered throughout the game, so... You, you automatically, like... Literally, just know that... It would have to be that one. It's obviously the relic fragment. Boop 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 boop. That's it. The relic fragment was inscribed with a peculiar pattern. Hmm? What's it? What is it, Jay? My relic fragment? Oh, right. That pattern. Excuse me, could you have a look at this? Oh, this is it. It's a pattern exactly like this. What? Where, where did you get this? Well, I'm not sure if I can remember. Hmm. I just happened to pick it up. Yippee, this is fabulous. Since Wolf has this, does that mean that Wolf is qualified to go to the hidden land? That I would not know. Maybe yes, maybe no. To go to the hidden land, one must surely possess that proof. But that does not necessarily mean that the bearer of the proof really possesses the qualifications to be chosen. That proof may merely be the physical key to the hidden land. Oh my god. Even before that though, this shares the same inscribed pattern. There is no way connection between this relic fragment and the hidden land. Oh, but there's no question that this pattern has something to do with the hidden land. Knowing only that is a lot. I suppose so. Wait, you do realize that the hidden land is only spoken in legend, right? You surely you're not trying to find the hidden land. Yes, we are. My goodness, what a surprise! Chat hot? This pattern, we've seen it somewhere, haven't we? Finally, 
Brian Cave. Yes. The sea inlets are northwest. Inside Brian Cave. But Guildmaster, that place. Yes, I know. The vicious bandit was there. A vicious bandit? By golly! Everyone, please listen. Everyone, please listen. I once saw the same pattern deep inside a place called Brian Cave. I think we can discover more by taking its, the relic fragment there. However, there is one problem. A Pokemon who lurks there is a vicious bandit. Hey, hey, we're not allowed to let that scare us. Aren't we explorers? We all need to be brave. Thanks, everyone. But that place is challenging. Everyone should take the time to get ready. We'll set off a brine cave tomorrow. Ho, ho, ho. I thought that the hidden land was nothing more than folklore. Getting old has made my thinking so inflexible. That's very sad. This all makes me remember the days when I dreamt of romance and adventure. Help me see my dreams again. Do your best. Ho 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 ho! Yes, you can count on us. Thank you, Toy Cole. Oh, it was nothing. Ho ho ho! Me old bones. All right, everyone. Spend the rest of the today getting ready. Okay, this missed. I don't need preparation. Yup, yup. We'll get ready. By golly. Oh my gosh, this will be so exciting! Though, the vicious bandit may end up screwing me over. Chatot. Chatot, you stay at the guild tomorrow on standby. Guildmaster? Forgive me if I'm out of line, but please let me go to Brian Cave. Nope, I can't let you face danger like that ever again. But that's why. That's why I must go. Take me to Brian Cave. Okay, then I want you to go with Team Two Tails tomorrow. Guide Jay's team to the place where you saw that strange pattern. But I want you to be careful. Thank you, I won't let you down. Another thing, I have something I need to do, so I have to go out. You're in charge while I'm gone. As you wish. So that's where it stands. You will be two will be with me tomorrow. As such, Team Two Tails non-guild members may not come along. Brian Cave has a vicious foe lying in wait. You mustn't let your guard down, and don't do anything that keeps me from succeeding there. Uh, okay. Jay, let's go get ready, man. I don't need to stock up. But I do know that. Oh, yeah, I have to view this scene, so that's why I can't skip it. Hold oh, to be young again. If I were a youngster, I'd certainly join the challenge to find the hidden left. Whoa, ho, ho. Hold it there, old timer. Who, who is it? What? What is it? What do you want? Sure, ho, ho. Well, we're Team Skull. <laughs> Did you have some business at Weekly Tough's Guild, old timer? Whoa, ho, ho. I overheard you say something that sounded fun. Something about the hidden land. Sure, ho, ho. I. I was only. Huh? Someone's coming. Whoa, ho. Guild jumps. Old timer, why don't we take this chat somewhere else? Or somewhere we won't be disturbed. Sure, ho, ho. Hey! Oh my god, is he still saying the same thing? I definitely 
definitely do not need to stock up in Treasure Town, because I'm good. I'm all deuces. Deuces and booses, my dude. But I suppose if we must go... Oh, hey, Electivire. What a great thing. Like, you can just remember the moves you forgot. It doesn't work for TMs, but it's so freaking good that you can just automatically remember moves. Oh, hey, and Kegascon! <laughs> I love I love her so much because she's such a mom. I mean, that's the point, but you know. Oh, thank mercy. I was worried about you. You're back without a scratch on you. That's wonderful. I shouldn't be sobbing. I should be strong like you. So kind. Like. Okay, so I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need all of those. I, I'm gonna need all of those if I'm gonna survive the, uh awfulness that is that that group of evil bandits so i don't need any items i am stocked up ready to go good golly gosh i'm putting my money away though you got all that money straight up balling out here all right, Jay, we should go over the Charpedo Bluff before we get back to the guild. Yeah, that's the other reason you have to come out here. Because Grove Vial left us a message. Is Grove Vial back, I wonder? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man, we are taking so long with this part. This is a long part. Grovile isn't here. Well, you know what? I'll read this message and I'll just be done. There's a sheet of paper. There's something written on it in footprint runes. This is a letter from Grovile. It must be a message for us. I'll read it. To Wolf and Jay. How are you doing? How goes your search for the hidden land? Things are going on my well on my end. I've already collected three time gears. I only have to I have to find only two more. I plan to join you when I have collected all five. Plans have proceeded smoothly, as Elf and his friends understood the situation and they have fully cooperated. As Elf told me that members of your guild let them know I was coming. Thank you. It is hard to think to know that more and more Pokemon are coming to trust us. However, I will continue to stay away from Treasure Town and the guild. First, I'm not certain if the Pokemon in this world trust me entirely or not. But there is something more troubling than that. Dust Noyer is liable to return from the future at any time. Dust Noyer? Come to think of it, Dust Noyer failed to get rid of us in the future. Wouldn't that... I wouldn't put it past him to chase us here. He still wants us gone. Okay, I'll keep reading. Since Dust Noia will be coming, we should keep a low profile. This is another reason I should stay away from Treasure Town and the Guild. I may come back to Sharpedo Bluff or the beach. If we should meet, then we can exchange information. Good luck on your end. Together we shall stop the planet's paralysis. From Grovile. Okay, it sounds like Grovile is hard at work. We better not fail on our end. According to this letter, Grovile will either show up here or at the beach. If we go down to the beach, maybe we'll see Grovile there. We should head down to the beach before we go back to the guild. No, let's do that next part. I'll see you guys then.